Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel on this beautiful Aloha Friday. As you can see, got nice blue skies, solar systems charging up, just just short of a 100% charge and everything's looking good. So today's video is uh, the comparison between, uh, you know, a solid good lead acid battery and the lithium iron phosphate batteries and i've had a lot of people out here asking me uh, about the difference and why i chose this to go with uh, for my main uh, house bank after running on lead acid for you know, 25 years did fine on those but finally made the switch so i got a lot of comments on this channel to people that are still doing the lead acid which is fine but I'm just going to go over what my reasons were for uh, switching over um, I, as you can see I'm still using uh, some lead acid as a little backup and I'll tell you when my power was down uh, the other day from when I blew that fuse oh whatever it was a couple weeks ago and then I relied on these two back here which these are 150 amp hour Trojan uh, T1275s. Nice solid battery in parallel for 300 amp hours. 150 uh, of which is only really in use without degrading the batteries. And then here is of course the Chins, 100 amp hour where 100% of it is available. Uh, and you can cycle it like that with not really any serious degradation. So I'm just going to highlight what my like top five reasons were for uh, making the switch and uh, the price comparison. So these here uh, were about all that was available on the island at the beginning of the pandemic. Had to bite the bullet and get a couple of those. It was just before switching over to the lithium. And these are, uh, they were about 250 a piece, so 500 bucks to make a 300 amp hour battery bank. Uh, this uh, 100 amp hour lithium uh, battery now, as of today's prices, you can pretty much find these online right around 350. Uh, not with the, not the smart version, but just the uh, regular without the temperature compensation. If you were in colder climates, you'd want to spend the extra money and get the temperature compensation so it could heat it up to the proper uh, temperature. So just on the, the price comparison, you know, uh, over 500, probably closer to 600 bucks with tax and everything for 300 amp hours, 350 for 100 amp hours that are completely usable. So and the lifespan. Now, you're going to get a lot more out of the lithium. If you treat them well, it should be 10 plus years. Most of the lithium companies now are offering 10 year uh, warranties. So, you know, that's a no brainer right there. The other thing for me, besides the price comparison, to where now the lithium has become so affordable, is the weight. These two batteries combined are 170 pounds. For that 150 amp hours this right here 24 pounds and uh you know i'm getting older so uh, lugging lugging these bad boys around is not anything i'm interested in doing in the future i love those i'll keep them they're great for backup but like i said when i was relying on them to run things uh over the past couple of weeks before i got the the big house bank back online uh, you know, you watch these things drain down pretty fast, whereas the lithium just holds a nice steady charge throughout the evening. Of course, uh, you know, the other great factor is uh, maintenance. You know, you got to check the water on the lead acid. Uh, you, if you ever let them, a cell run dry, you'll ruin everything. And I know a lot of people have done that. They, you know, procrastinate a little bit on maintenance. I'd make sure I check them once a month like clockwork. And they do use a fair bit of water so you got to keep those plates covered in that and again in, no maintenance on the lithium so that was my third reason and 
and then the fourth reason, which is kind of a, just what I already said earlier, is is uh, you know 50% cycle on your lead acid, 100% cycle on your lithium if you choose to, and you're not going to really shorten the life of it. So for those of you that have been following the channel, know that I'm in love with the the Chins, uh, fantastic battery, uh, and I. You know, the lead asses served me well for all the years that I used them, but yeah, I'm not carrying those things around anymore. Just can't see doing it, and lithium just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper. So I hope that answers a few of your questions about why I switched over and why I think it's it's actually it is actually more economical to go ahead and bite the bullet, spend a little extra on the lithium to start with. Uh you're not gaining anything by going to lead acid anymore. And, and for those of you that are like in an RV, you know, van dwellers and uh, things of that nature, yeah, that's a lot of weight to be packing around the, these lead acid and AGMs and 24 pounds per 100 amp hours, pretty easy to tote around. So those are my top five reasons. I haven't ever looked back from being on lithium now for just over five months. Absolutely love them. And, uh, Hoping they will outlive me. <laughs> Beautiful Aloha Friday going here. Sun just cooking those panels. Absolutely perfect. And as a side note, I just got a bunch of uh, more switches and fuses and proper gauge wire to tie up the, uh, the house bank and make it absolutely foolproof. So... Uh, I'll probably get on that later today. Just got those in. Very happy about that. So when I get all, all of these things tied up, I'll show all of you how that looks. I'm pretty excited about that. Basically taking everyone's suggestions. I'm fusing and switching everything on that panel. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and thanks for all of your support. Hope you're having a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And, uh, aloha. Everybody take care now.